Good morning, Year 6. Today we're going to be carrying on with our metric measures. So we're actually looking today at how we can convert between different units of measure. So, let's have a look at these first prefixes. Do you know what they mean? Milli, centi, kilo. Yes, that's right. When we're talking about milli, we're talking about one thousandth. Centi is one hundredth. And kilo is 1,000. So with that in mind, what do you think millimetre means? So if milli means 1,000ths, a millimetre is 1,000th of a metre. Which is the same as saying that a millimetre is 1 over 1,000 metres. Which again is the same as saying that a millimetre is 0 0.001 metres. So if we say this for millimetres, what would be the equivalent for millilitres? Pause the video and have a go for yourself. Hopefully you found that a millilitre is one thousandth of a litre, one millilitre is one over one thousand litres, 0 0.001 litres. So if we're converting from millimetres to metres, we can, because we know that milli is a thousand, we know that if we're going in this direction, we're going from millimetres to metres, we're going to have to divide by a thousand. And if we're going from metres to express it in millimetres, we're going to have to multiply by a thousand. You might want to think about the intervening step. So you might think, oh, I can't remember that conversion, although I do remember milli is a thousand. But if you want to think about it, you can think of there are 10 millimetres in every centimetre. And there are 100 centimetres in every metre. So that would be... 100 times 10 is 1,000, so we can check that we are correct. The same thing can also happen with our millilitres to our litres. And the intervening point, we don't often use this one as much, is centilitres, and it's the same thing. So it's 1,000 millilitres in a litre, but there are 10 millilitres in a centilitre, and there are a hundred centilitres in a litre. And we can think of centi again, meaning that hundred. Okay, so we'd need to divide there, and this way we would need to multiply. Have a look at this slide. Have a go for yourself, and then Pause the video while you have a go and work out what the answers might be and turn back on to see the answers. Yeah, we've got millimetres and we're going to be moving into metres. So we can see here if we follow the arrow, we're going from millimetres to metres, we're going to divide by 1000. We've got our two millimetres going to metres. So if we have two and if we think it's actually two, it's going to be in the units column for now. And we've got to divide by a thousand. So think about how many decimal places that will be. That'll be one, two, three decimal places. So we're going to go three decimal places. So we've got units. And then we've got our tenths, our hundredths, and our thousandths. Now, earlier we were looking at whether one millimetre is the same as a thousandth of a metre. Do you remember when we looked at the other slide? So it's going to move three decimal places. So that's one, two, three. So it's going to be in the thousandths column. And then we're going to have to fill in with placeholders those intervening. And so it's actually going to be zero, 0 0.002 metres. That's what my box needed to be a bit bigger, doesn't it? Okay, let's go the other way. We're going from two metres to millimetres. So we've got two metres 
and we're going to millimetres. So this time we're multiplying by a thousand. So we've got two metres to millimetres, so it'll be two thousand. And then here we've got 50 millimetres going to metres. So 50 millimetres. So let's, I'll leave my column headings here, but I'm going to just erase it at 50. So that's got tens and units. So that's going to be tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. The decimal place point would be there. So 50 going to meters, so millimeters to meters, dividing by a thousand, that's three decimal places. So the five is going to move three decimal places. So it's going to be not in the unit, that's one decimal place, not in the tenth, that's two decimal place, but in the hundredths. And then we just fill in so 0 0.05, 0 0.05 meters. And then 0 0.5 meters, not 0 0.05, 0 0.5 meters to millimeters. So we're going to go the other way, we're multiplying by a thousand. So we've got, let's take this out and look at that very carefully. Yeah, there we are. So we've got 0 0.5, but we're multiplying this time, aren't we? Because they're from meters to millimeters, meters to millimeters, multiplied by 1000. So it's going three decimal places. So it's going one, two, three. So it's after our tens comes our hundreds. So it's going to be five. We'll add our placeholders in, so it's going to be 500 millimetres. Okay, did you get those answers? I hope you did. A large car might have a mass of around two tonnes, and just for information, it might not be something you've come across. Uh, one tonne is the same as a thousand kilograms. So our grams to kilograms, I would like you to think about what might that conversion be? So if I was going to put my arching bit over here and then my arch over here, what might my conversions be? So if we're going from grams to kilograms, think about it. Are we dividing or multiplying? Yes, we're dividing. And how many grams into a kilogram? A thousand, that's right. So that's a thousand. Okay. And then grams to kilogram, uh, sorry, kilograms to grams would be multiplying by a thousand. And then we've got how many kilograms are in a ton? What did it say on that last slide? It is a thousand. So we've then got to divide by a thousand this way too. And then we've got to multiply by a thousand here. So if you imagine this is the arrows going from uh, grams to kilograms and kilograms to here, and this is going back the other way. And that relates to, if you think about our place value chart, which way our numbers are moving on the place value chart. If you really struggle with this, it's a good idea to write out the place value column headings and then move the number of decimal places you need. It will really help you. Now it's over to you. Have a go at the worksheet and let us know how you get on.